folks welcome to the first monday of november welcome to the first monday of the rest of your life yes welcome to the first monday of the rest of your life let's make it happen today's theme today's topic that we're going to be talking about is reconnecting with childhood so often times i've wondered you know what makes people happy what is happiness about um what makes us joyful and there's many different things that make us joyful right um in three big categories or four big categories you could say one thing is material things yes they bring a certain amount of happiness and joy in our life let's say i want a certain pen to write stuff with or i want a guitar a new guitar that brings some happiness but it's it's a question of how long it lasts maybe once you get it once you get the new ps4 or a new tv it lasts but yeah that makes us happy then comes experiences experiences make us happy certain kinds of experiences traveling uh different things then there is something called growth that makes us happy and then there is something called contribution where we contribute towards others or when we feel we are growing in some way that makes us happy there's different kinds of happiness so today i want to talk about experiences and i want to bring it down to something else you see often times people think experiences to make us happy it costs money you need to spend a lot of money to go to the us you need to spend a lot of money to uh, travel somewhere um, or go somewhere exotic or eat at a five star restaurant or a hotel experiences make us happy and we think we need a money for the experiences well that might be true in certain cases but let me remind you of some experiences that will give you and that give us ultimate amounts of joy that gives us uber amounts of joy and happiness that are relatively very low cost or no cost that are very cheap or free and these are these are certain childhood experiences or things that we used to do as a child that we don't do anymore let that sink in yes guys there were things that we did as a child that gave us so much happiness some experiences that we had as a child that gave us so much happiness that we stopped doing now and that's because we think for us to become happy we need to spend money on experiences that might be true in one part but there is a whole different set of things that is very low cost or no cost that gives us happiness that we just totally ignore that we just totally forget about and this today monday morning message i want to remind you of it during my college days in the us one of my fondest memories and one a memory that really sticks to me is this I was by myself not spending any money and huge rains one day it was raining immensely huge rains were pouring down and I went to the big quadrangle in the middle of the college and I was literally there soaking myself in the rain and I was so joyful I don't know why and then I realized then I realized that as a child in India growing up we had the monsoon seasons in the east in the city of Calcutta and every monsoon it was almost a ritual for me to go and get wet and drenched in the rains in the lush green um gardens or fields in the city while it was pouring down raining and have a great time with my friends as a child and these rains were free you know we didn't have to pay money for an electric motor to do a rain shower at a fancy um water park <laughs> these were free rains offered by nature which i used to enjoy so much as a child and as i was growing up as i was growing up slowly through high school etc we i stopped going and enjoying these monsoon rains and that's because we all grew up and everybody said hey don't get wet you'll get sick all these things that adulting you know makes us deprive of and that college day when i was soaking myself in the rain it was an anchoring moment it took me straight to childhood and i started having such a great time i reconnected with childhood so guys this week this week i encourage you to pick out an experience that is low cost or no cost that gave you a lot of joy and happiness as a childhood and redo it this week you know why because life is about having great experiences and a childhood experience that makes us happy will also make a great week so guys this week let's reconnect with our childhood with an experience that you used to enjoy a lot when you were a child and when we repeat it we anchor ourselves back 
to that great experience of happiness that is low cost or no cost. Reconnect them with childhood, guys. Devashish, Hi, Mr. Sabu, how are you? Hi, good morning, brother. I'm doing good. So, guys, Devashish is a dance ka kira, as his Instagram handle says, which means he he's got the worm of dance in him. You know, um, if you look at his page, he is so entertaining. He's so entertaining. He, you can just see that he enjoys dancing, and you remind me of my childhood when I used to dance uh, without any notion of uh, who's looking at me, etc. So, Devashish, good morning. What do you morning. think about reconnecting with childhood? Uh, I heard what you said in the initial part of of, of, of the call, and I truly agree that uh, uh, reconnecting with childhood can find you a lot of joy and uh, happiness of uh, which you were a part of during your childhood. But uh, I just want to take the time to tell some other aspects which I lately realized about uh, how reconnecting with childhood can help you grow as a person. Uh, see, uh, during the childhood, uh, you are at your purest form. The kind of emotions you develop are at your purest. Also, the people around you, the near and dear ones, they are the people who who are a replica of you, your mother and father. You will grow into becoming a version of them. So uh, sometimes when people uh, they become adult, like when we are in our mid twenties, when we start contemplating like who we are as a person or uh, what drives us really, then uh, we don't find a lot of relevant answers uh, to our own. You can say customized answers. Now then, that is a time when you can utilize your childhood, connect with your parents, and try to see what their experiences are and what they did, because. history repeats itself and if you uh, want to have some answers for your life then why not have the best resource with you uh, if you utilize the best resource you have your parents and your brothers and sisters your living your ones your your family your uh, your extended friends who are in your areas luckily this lockdown has given me a chance to come back to everything uh, of my uh, hometown connect with a lot of friends in my hometown and explore a lot of places which i used to go during my childhood so everything together has made me a uh, little overwhelming and it shows in my art also so yeah that that's what... awesome there i love how, i love how you said like you know the lockdown has brought a lot of people home and that has enhanced and helped them reconnect with the childhood memories that they had so yeah. so awesome and i know devashish now that you have something fun prepared for us Something yeah, fun sure. that will maybe take a lot of us back to our childhood. So, sure, sure. what is it? So, uh, it is a song. Uh, you, have, everyone, must have uh, seen the anime Sinchan. Uh, it is the song of the title song of Sinchan. I did this choreography during my undergraduate for a competition, and uh, I thought that I should do it again uh, once we start the channel. And people have like that. And okay, let then let's get started. I will. Amazing. Reconnection with childhood, Chin Chan. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was such good energy. I'll let you take a breath. Devashish, thank you so much for reconnecting us with our yeah. childhood with that short but power-packed energy performance. What a great choreography you did, man! Uh, it, it's really the moves reminded me of my childhood. You know how we used to move and how we used to dance. <laughs> sure, it was a pleasure connecting. 
Thank you, Devashish. Have a great day. Have a great week. Cheers. Same to you. Cheers. Bye. Guys, reconnecting with childhood. What a great, great topic to talk about. Experiences give us happiness, and those childhood experiences that we stop doing if we do it now, they are low cost or no cost experiences that give us a lot of joy. Just like getting in, getting wet in the monsoon rains in India was for me. And then we had dance kakira, the person who has a warm for dancing in his belly, Devashish. He came and performed <laughs> a super energetic dance. on shinchan which is an anime that was played in india and a lot of us as a child uh, in our childhoods watched that cartoon so that was awesome guys much love i hope you resonated with today's monday morning message namaskar namaste i will see you guys next week same time same location this week let's do something that helps us reconnect with our childhood thank you very much